then the question you take account uh, of uh, you account for uh, radio diode. So now I'm going to show uh, some results of classification. Uh, which I'm going to compare what I obtain by classifying the signal using the potential, <coughs> using the left field, and using uh, the location, and the combination that I talk about. Of course, this combination is not, I'm not proposed to sum the Laplace and the left field because there are different quantities. It's just that when you classify, each data point is a variable. Okay? So what they do is I, uh, I concatenate the trials of each one of this, uh, uh, of this quantity. And, and uh, here, for example, if I try less one, one uh, second, for this guy is one second, for this guy is two seconds because I have two components, and for this guy is three seconds because I have uh, three price concatenation. <coughs> this experiment is exactly what uh, the experiment that Roy um, showed before. So uh, let's just talk about the average because I, have a, I don't have a plenty of time. So uh, if you classify, for example, the, uh, the syllables, so the same syllable, eight uh, consonants and four uh, vowels, uh, if you classify uh, for the initial consonant, in this case, I got this initial consonant, yeah. So chance level is 12.5%. With the potential, I got 39, 36.9. With the population, 40. And with the left field, the combination is 45.7. We always are going to see that you always improve the rate if I use uh, the left field. Uh, and I have results for four different experiments. The next one is uh, involved nine color-shaped images. So chance level is 11%. But when I, I classify the signal using the potential in average for seven subjects, I get about 50%, which is far from, uh, from chance. But if I, I process using the left field, the result is 75%. Much, yeah. And uh, now um, I have also an experiment involves 72 images of face, and, uh, human face and non-human face, uh, which includes uh, six categories: human face, human body, animal face, animal body. Um, and again, I process the, uh, the signal. I classify the signal using different methods. So uh, in, in red, you have the result for the classification of the 72 images, and in blue, for the six categories. And you see, I go from 10%, 11% with the potential, to 26% using the electric field. And, and for, the, uh, for the categories, from 51% to 67%. Uh, and finally, um, is, uh, um, Two class experiment in which the, the, the subject is present uh, in every other trial. Either uh, I stop sign in the computer screen, or he uh, or she hears the uh, the speech sound of go, of the go word, the English word, and and uh, he asks to uh, after seeing or hearing the, the sound to make a mental picture of what he he just experienced. Okay. And here I'm classifying the trials correspond to the imagination. Okay, so uh, if I classify uh, the trials for the stop and go for the human, I get 100 percent for all matters. So there's nothing to, there's no room for improvement. But if you classify um, for uh, the imagination, when you go to that field, you have a very small um, uh, improvement. But then I have. I can add something else. I can combine the left field with PCA because the left field I have I inflate the feature space because in have, instead of one second trials now I have three second trials. So I can reduce this space and by reducing the space I improve the rate and then I see a good improvement. So from 74% to 85.5%. So uh, um, um, the conclusion is that the left field is very effective to improve uh, the classification rates. The method 
uh, solve the problem of reference because the, the left field is a derivative of the potential. So when it's reference free, I have no problem with reference here. Um, I show that a combination with PCA can provide more improvement. The, com the math is computationally efficient. I didn't talk about how to estimate the electric field from the potential. I use a spline equation, and uh, there are many things that I can do to improve, even to improve uh, this result because of this mission requires some uh, things that uh, I, didn't, I didn't have. For example, uh, I didn't know the actual location of the electrodes. I, I, I assume that the head is HP and is not. So if you uh, get more data, then I think you can do much better than uh, I show here. So thank you and uh, happy birthday, Pat.